Hello Chatfield! This is your Chatfield podcast. My name is Ava Wood. I'm Maddie Hines. I'm Alexa Deutsch. And I'm Marissa Blakemore. And we're all seniors. <laughs> we wanted our podcast to be more like life advice because we have been here for four years and we've been through it all at Chatfield. We definitely have been through it all. <laughs> so we figured we'd start out our podcast with quite a bang and tell you guys all what our most embarrassing stories at Chatfield were. And we figured we'd start off strong uh, with these <laughs> embarrassing stories because I'm going to be telling mine first. Okay, this story, this story starts off last year at prom um, when I we were decided. In the last pit. Oh, we were having fun. Let oh. me tell you. Everyone was boogieing. <laughs> But, um, so basically to prom, oh, God, I loved my dress. It was so beautiful. Um, but it had two slits. <laughs> Don't get a dress with two slits. <laughs> two slits on both sides that were about like Advice more than freshmen. more than knee high. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Advice for anyone who is going to prom: Please don't get two slits. Like trust me, one Just is go fine. With one. Only one of your legs needs to be showing. <laughs> and the slits were pretty high up. You could say they were. Yeah, they were definitely like upper thigh area. It was also a super flowy dress, like super flowy lightweight dress. And the thing about my dress too was that it was so lightweight and flowy that it was pretty see through. So basically, the dress. I couldn't wear spandex with it because every single spandex I tried on, all of them you could see through the dress. So another piece of advice, get a dress that if you need to wear spandex under, you're able to. And if worse comes to worse, if your dress doesn't allow you to wear spandex, just wear the spandex anyways. It's okay to see them a little bit. Um, anyways, so we were like boogieing down in the mosh pit, right? Like Ava was saying. Yes, I si um, and I signaled you over. I signaled Maddie over from across the mosh pit. Yeah, so Ava, she told me to come over so I could go hang out with her. Um, cause we were, we were having a grand old time. I didn't, I thought Maddie was genuinely gonna walk across the mosh pit and not do what she did. Anyways, yeah, big dance circle, nobody in the middle of it, just a whole bunch of people around it. Hey Maddie, what, what song was playing? I don't remember. Yeah, do you remember what song was playing? I have no idea what song was playing. It was a good one, though. It was a dancing one. Um, and you know what? I decided the best way to get across a mosh pit is to dance across it, right? And the not best, any not any dance, the best dance move I had in my inventory was the worm. So <laughs> I dropped to the floor and I was worming across the floor and then all of a sudden I felt- Let me say, a fantastic worm also. I, come on, I'm good at the worm. Anyone who knows me could tell you that I'm fantastic at the worm. But I dropped to the floor and then all of a sudden I feel a breeze where there shouldn't be a breeze. So I hop up and I cover my butt with my dress because it was fully out and I wasn't wearing spandex. I was but, Let's just leave it to the imagination. But yeah, um, so I get up and I run away and I gotta tell you, the entire dance circle saw my butt that night. Including her date. <laughs> including my date. Wait, if it makes Maddie feel any better, she like came up to me and she was like, did you see that? I was like, see what? Like I had no idea what she was talking about. I was so lost. I had full idea what she was talking about, but I decided that in that moment, she probably didn't need to know that a whole dance circle saw her butt. So I lied and said, no one saw. I'll do my story now. It is not as significant, but in my eyes it was. So I was coming out of sophomore math class, right? And so all of my friends who were in that class, we would always like laugh and joke with each other as we were walking outside the class. And like, they kept trying to flat tire me, right? Because I was wearing, I think moccasins. I'm not even sure, maybe flip flops. But they kept trying to flat tire me. I was laughing about it. <laughs> my friend June, she flat tired me and then trip me in front of everyone. <laughs> I, I slow motion fell to the ground. Like I think my backpack like overweighed my body. So like it made me do like a front roll. <laughs> so I like did a front roll and I was just laying on my back, I'm pretty sure. That's for a while. It was I know it's like the bully. Like, yeah, the bully. Like like, <laughs> yeah. Oh no, trust me. Hands. It was like, not graceful. <laughs> yes, everybody. 
like, it was so like, embarrassing. Oh. Everybody was just kept walking. The like, they didn't say anything. The world does not stop, stop, stop for me, that's for sure. And I was just like, oh my god. And then I was mad at my friend the whole rest of the day. I was so embarrassed. Like, something, like, when something embarrassing happens, any of you guys, do you ever, like, just feel weird for the rest of the day? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, my day is like, actually ruined <laughs> for the day. Yeah. All I can think about is that moment. Like, yeah. genuinely, it just, all like, I can think about. playing in your head over and over. Yeah. Again. And it didn't help that all my other friends were, like, laughing about it the rest of the day, too. So I was like, great. But that was my embarrassing story. I got up. It was, like, two seconds, but it was the worst two seconds ever. <laughs> Okay, so for my story, if you haven't already seen a video of it or seen it on any Instagram platform or Snapchat, um, I actually walked into a pole <laughs> in the front of the school. Not any pole. The, the pole. pole. Oh, like, <laughs> okay, let me just tell you. There she is a really, really pole. annoying pole that is in the middle of everything. <laughs> it is in, pole. it's not the flag it's pole. It's, it's, it's about like, I think it's, to, if I'm thinking correctly, I think, it, I think it's to the right of the flag pole. And if you see those stairs that kind of come down, if you go out and you're envisioning this, okay? The flagpole is on... Anyway, the flagpole's on one side. The stairs come down, and then in the middle, there's a little kind of light post little pole, okay? Anyway, uh, walking into school, and Maddie <laughs> had to tell me the most amazing story about how the front end of her car, she thought the bumper was coming off. Um, I used to have a car that I called Beast. Um, she was a minivan and rest in, peace. rest in peace, Beast. And one of her doors didn't work. Her bumper always came off. So that's the that's gist of this story. Seems... In her defense, it was a really old car, and it had been that way since I've known her. But anyway, she was talking about how she thought the front end of her bumper was coming off her car. So I am really intrigued in this story. My head is fully turned at a 90 degree angle talking to Maddie. 90 degrees, like peripheral vision is not going to be working in that moment. And I walk straight into that pole. And I was walking, I clearly was walking really quickly because that pole hit the side of my face, kind of right by my ear. I just went down. Like, the pole, pole one, Ava zero. Like, I hit that pole and literally just went, I just fell back. Like, nothing could stop me. And she landed straight on her butt. Like, like from the movies, you know, you think you'd like slowly go down. No, she just went all the way down and everyone was laughing. <laughs> Yeah, Alexa and I were two people that were, like, right next to each other. And obviously, so she was, I was standing right next to her, and she was looking at me completely. She wasn't looking where she was going. And I just remember looking into her eyes and telling her this story. And then all of a sudden, her eyes weren't there. She just disappeared, and we all kept walking. She was gone. She just vanished. She was on the ground. Every single head of the school turned around. It was opening hour too, like everyone is walking into the school. You can hear the noise on the video of the pole. You can hear her head smack. I hit that pole so hard and I think the- Oh, I had to- Ava was telling me, she's like, I actually have to go home, Marissa. My head hurts so bad and she was forming a dent on her head. No, I, I like laughed it off at first, but I internally was in tears. And then I went to my first period class and all of the pain from my head hit me. Like, it was, it was horrible. My whole head was throbbing and I'm getting texts about how I hit a pole. Like, people were like, did you actually hit a pole? Yes, I did in fact hit a pole. And I had to go home and I, I did, I think I did have a minor concussion. The side of my head was, the side of my head was bruised and I could not prop properly say a P for like two weeks. Okay. And what's so funny about that story is that video got spread around <laughs> everywhere. Oh my gosh, that night at flag football practice, Coach Gazzetti, if you're listening, shout out to you. I showed him the video because I was kind of sitting down because my head hurt and he was saying it was an excuse, but I showed him the video to show <laughs> it was not in fact an excuse. I've never seen that man run so quickly. He took my phone and sprinted for the other coaches. And before I knew it, every coach had been airdropped that video. And I got the I got the security footage, which was probably Probably bad on me because as soon as I got the security footage, Maddie was handily beside me and also got the video. And before you knew it, everyone had the video on me hitting a pole. Um, yeah. And you can hear Maddie cackling in the background <laughs> oh, of yeah. that video. You see me walk and it's kind of a delayed sound. Like it's walk and then I, I hit it and it goes bang. <laughs> it just, and then Maddie cackles, obviously. But that was my story. And yeah, everyone saw me just on the ground after a really loud bang hit the pole. Okay, well, mine isn't as good as that one, but, you know, sophomore year, like, fourth period lunch, I decided to go to Freddy's. 
and I happen to be wearing white <laughs> shorts. <laughs> yeah, now I don't go to Freddy's anymore, guys. Um, white shorts and like you know a light blue top, and so hot take. I got a hot dog. <laughs> and I I need such a hot take at Freddy's. What in the world is wrong? That was my first hot mistake. <laughs> Yep, so I need to catch up to like spice up the hot dog a little bit and I don't know I think I opened the packet and it just like everywhere all over my shorts all over my top like globs of ketchup all over me and everyone was just laughing i couldn't go back like home i just had to go straight to school yeah, so you don't have a car. yeah and it was fourth period so i had three more periods after that where i just had to sit in class with my ketchup stained clothes and have everyone ask me what had happened for the rest of the day you know what ketchup <laughs> looks like and it's the same color <laughs> On white shorts. <laughs> like, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, so everyone, you know, just like thought that had happened the whole day and it got everywhere, but it was catch up. Disaster as well. <laughs> yeah, so just, I don't know, just basically nobody remembers um any of those things i don't think i mean occasionally you know someone will bring up the time i flashed somebody at prom but at this point like it's just something that i laugh about like ava every time someone brings up that she ran into a pole and hit the the opening walkway um i <laughs> like what 50 miles per hour <laughs> she just like she just really? laughs in that, moment, in that moment i was so embarrassed like everyone told me fall but now just looking back at, back at it it's just a video i occasionally stumble upon on my camera roll and it always makes me laugh yeah <laughs> like honestly when i flashed the entire dance circle at prom i genuinely did think it was the end of the world for a yeah. hot minute um, because I mean, come on, like, that's <laughs> it was like, like I, I was seriously like in Maddie's car, right? And like the dance has ended and she's like, oh my God, my life's over. I was like, what, what happened? Like I genuinely <laughs> forgot. I forgot it happened 20 minutes after it happened. So the fact that like, it was such a big deal to her and like not a big deal to anyone else is like crazy how everyone forgets. Yeah, like no one cares in the future. Like if you bring it up, then they'll be like, oh, haha, ha, but like no one is gonna look back at it. Yeah, genuinely, all this type of stuff happens all the time in high school. Like, I guess not like flashing. Everyone in your school happens all the time or in high school, but or hitting a pole. <laughs> but um, we're just trying to tell you, don't worry about it because it's all just. It ends up being funny stories that you can tell in the future, and um, it's all how you react to it too. Because I. Like I said, I was so stressed out, and then I just chose to laugh it off. And honestly, it made everything so much better. Everyone that brought it up, I just started laughing it off to them, and they'd laugh along with me. Yeah, what Maddie said, it's completely your mindset. If you choose to let it affect you and let it bug you, it's gonna, it's gonna be something that bugs you. Like still to this day, Maddie could still be like freaking out about that and be so embarrassed every time somebody brought it up, or I could be so embarrassed anytime somebody brought up the pole, or Marissa could be so embarrassed every time she tripped a little bit and Alexa could be embarrassed about ketchup. <laughs> but instead, you just have to laugh it off because in reality, everyone's so worried about themselves that nobody's actually looking at you. <laughs> And even if it isn't, like, that big of things, like, if you do bad in, like, a sports game and everyone's yeah. watching you, like, so many other things happen that no one remembers that event. Or, like, if you want to if you wanna try out for a team, but, like, you don't want to be embarrassed because you don't think you're going to be very good at it, like, no one cares. Do what you want to do. Yeah, just don't let anything stress you out too much or keep you up at night because it's really just not that deep. So take high school lightly, laugh at the, you're stupid. <laughs> cliches you'll, you'll hear them giggling in the background but take high school lightly do what you want to do because in reality you're just it's just going to be creating more memories for you to look back and laugh at in summation <laughs> <laughs> no i was actually joking around with ava earlier because she was making everything so cliche but seriously nothing actually matters so you're okay <laughs> Just don't let um, 
I don't know, embarrassment or worries get in the way of having fun. Because high school should be about having fun. And getting good grades. Dance like no one's watching. Yes! yes! Dance, dance like no one's watching, even when the whole dance circle is watching. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. This was your first Chatfield podcast with Ava Wood, Maddie Hines, Alexa Deutsch, and Marissa Blakemore. We'll see you in about two weeks. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>